what is up risk takers welcome to the kill pete strategy i am pete i'm a top player in risk global domination i have a daily release on youtube i do weekday streams on twitch if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channels come along the ride with me the daily release on free pete a daily release on the kill pete strategy we like to play europe advanced progressive capitals i'm in the second seat plays magenta i have an interesting blizzard config on the bottom left if i pick that but someone picks sardinia or she shall i'm in the same place um this makes for a noob corner that pockets nicely on london but london cap probably won't be taken because purple is last in the turner i see black okay black wants generic ops and take this maybe run down or run out into spain my my fears here is that someone would cap here i need a cap I need a cap that gives me some amount of play I'm going to neighbor cap black. So what this does is it hopefully lets me hold an Italy turn two, but I'm going to see if I can turn one Spain. Maybe it might make more sense to turn one noob corner. We don't know, but the ultimate line is to two point this pocket, which I essentially have one of the points. We don't know. There should be a cap here, here, maybe here, maybe here, which would be shitty. I don't think we see purple take. Okay, so purple takes the Scandi pocket tab lock instead. Black starts. I don't think they roll my cap. There is a small chance. I can always fortify that three to it. So I can use my first turn worth of troops maybe to take a look at Spain. Might be smarter to just take Italy now. I think that's how we play it. What am I starting with? Let's see if I can just take Italy. Oh, black too. Shit. There's a cap there, I cry. That's also black. Okay, so black sees that I have Italy. Good. This is actually good. Black seeing that I have Italy is ideal. We might get a break from white, we might get a break from red, but I don't think black breaks me. So me and black are gonna be soft to each other. We really, really gum up the east-west axis between this has to go through the purple cap, the bottom has to go through me, and the east can go around black, which is a very, very interesting way this board pockets up. Downside right now is I can't see anybody, okay. My intuition was right. Fucking with Spain was a problem. So someone is behind me here, and I think it's red, and I think their cap is there. So I take noob corner if nobody's up in the noob corner next. Hey, white's here. All right, so we got red. Great. We see everybody. We got red. We got white. We got black. We got purple. Where's blue? The only player we don't see is blue. Blue might be in Iceland. Probably it's plus eight because they're in the final seat. And they're going to go for noob corner. No, they're going to go for free. Break me. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. Oh. The fuck? No, 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 no. Fuck you. You jackass. <laughs> All right, this is bad for me because this is good for black. This blue in noob corner. Okay, red's going to come out of the bottom pocket. I have to cap stack and hold Italy. Fuck. 
Well, at least I get a bonus. Take Scandy as well. White is there. All right, so if, if Purple breaks me again, we know that it's war. I let them hold France. This will be quite the tell. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. There was no reason for you to break that, though. You, maybe you pathed it wrong. You could have gone, if you want to take France, you could have gone like this, right? Or was this also purple? I'm not sure. He was trying to connect into his capital. He did it wrong. Okay, red gets 10, so red's going to take Africa. Red's going to pressure either me or black, so I won't actually get to hold Italy for very long. This actually slows me from being able to resist red. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. They're wasting troops in a part of the board where they have no business being. Love that for you. That's bad for purple. Okay, so red took noob corner. We got red, red. Maybe they're Captain Iceland. Maybe they just took that Spain for free and I should go investigate Africa. Maybe that's what I do. I mean, I'll try for Scandi. Purple retake something? Yeah. Yeah, they went into new... Good. Purple and red are going to fight. Good. That's good for me. Now, black is going to expand into Africa. So, I think white is here. Black. Black. Magenta. Red. Red. Yeah. Man, that's a 19 cap. Ridiculous. Start my scanty pocket with a three. I don't think red messes around yet, but we don't know yet. <coughs> blue getting anything? Where the fuck is blue getting nine? Yeah, so blue is here. Okay, blue, white, black, purple, red and purple, red. Nobody, black. Nobody? Huh. I'm going to go for Russia instead then. Yeah, maybe I go for Russia instead. Okay, red getting 13. I'm going to stay at war with purple. This is why you never take France. France is the worst, the worst of the plus fours, folks. I think, okay, so here's how I, here's how I rate the plus fours on this map. Depending on blizzards, Spain can be the best if you have the Gascony blizzard or either of these. If you have a one-point Spain, it's the best. Otherwise, Dinar Alps, I think, is the best, followed by Southeastern Europe, followed by Italy, followed by France. And that's kind of how I rank the, the plus fours in terms of the ones you want to take. The reason you never want to take is France is just such a crossroads, right? No matter what, in order to get any mobility on the board, you end up breaking France. And red broke France here. So purple is kind of thinking about what the fuck to do because red's behind them. This might mean that red hasn't put enough troops on their capital. If that's true, I should go down and investigate if this is the red capital. Otherwise, the red capital's in Iceland. <laughs> Also, purple should have taken Germany. The bonuses cap is in. Because um, it's a plus five, and it's not going to be resisted by me or black. I'm pretty sure black knows where his cap is. Black gets, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six for the cap, seven, eight, nine, and then three for his natch to 12. Well, 13, four for his natch. Okay, so I'm torn here. Do I take Russia? Do I expand into Russia? Do I... I put some amount of troops on my cap. Yeah, he's really.
Really pressuring the cap, isn't it? Let's just kind of claim Russia. Okay, blue gets 16 now, because blue has the plus 8. <laughs> cool. So blue is now here. And here. This is black. Black is split. White still off Orient? Nobody's here. He just wants a card up there. Hmm. Did that go down? Maybe blue has this. That's less likely. But we can't see, so we don't know. Red gets 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <coughs> and 4 for their natch. Okay. Now red is in the midboard. Don't break me. Yeah. Now red's just going to take a little bit of France. Basically stealing purples. So we need to find this out, right? We need to find out if, if there's a red cap here, here, or here. Um, because if, if Spain is unoccupied, I might as well just hollow out this pocket like I wanted to do originally. But we've, we've gone long enough now, we haven't been able to really leverage a massive position. So the way this game's going to go for us favorably is... Still doesn't take Germany. The way this game's going to go favorably for us... 22? What does black have? That's I didn't expect that. Did you take it from blue? Black took this from blue. Don't roll my cap. Stop. 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 Don't hit me. Stop. Don't fucking hit me. Stop. No, you're not. Stop. I will resist you. I understand your story. Get your seven out of my face and we're, and we're fine. Get your seven out of my face and we're fine. Otherwise, I break everything you have. Well, maybe maybe he just takes this opportunity to take my capital, but I think that'd be too expensive. And I think Blue's going to resist that steal. Yeah. Nine, yeah. I think some of Black is going to get popped. I still don't know where blue is, though, is the problem. Okay, red breaks up Italy. No, red finishes. Red has problems with purple. White getting 11. Okay, white's on a one-point Istanbul, or sorry, two-point Orient. You're in here. Where the fuck is blue? Man, I wish I could read this board. Um, the outcome for my game now is going to depend on black and if black wants to go to attrition with me which i don't think he does um i let him hold the plus eight and i said don't take right you can't also take the plus seven of russia let's see if he is okay with that <laughs> or if he says fuck this guy i'm just gonna beat him which maybe you can let's find out right let's find out what call black makes Set. Takes my cap. That's the right call for me, baby. That's the right call for me.
cool. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll let you be a buffer zone between me and blue and white. I love this. These guys are going to fucking go through you before they go through me. <laughs> okay, so purple's cap. This is so interesting. Purple's cap is actually guarding my my Scandi from red. And black's, like, body is guarding. Um, so, yeah, black's body is guarding my Russia from, from white and blue. Now, I don't know where the blue cap is. White says I'm sorry. Yeah, because he has to break something. Black's still massive, right? This is still good for black. I just figure long term. The way this board shakes up. Black gets run through before I do. White just hold. Okay, white getting 14 now. Oh, 14 is the set. What are we doing for card? No set on three. Spicy moment, folks. Everyone's still alive. Everyone's playing well. Nobody's playing super dumb this game. This is what happens when you filter out novices, beginner to grandmaster on, on these sets. So no really, really, really stupid shit, which is nice to see. Does purple have a bonus? Purple have Germany? Purple does have Germany. Dude, I need to figure out which side red is on. Okay, purple is bitching out here. This is the moment you bitch out. That's not good for me. That's not good for me at all. Oh no! Come on, Perpe, dude. I hope he goes bad to. I hope this bot goes bad to red. No, you know, serves me right for fucking compliment. Oh no, he just took a garden pass. Serves me right for complimenting these players, but he just spent his whole turn thinking. Black holds a shitload. Why is it always the black player I end up getting fucking team team Pete and black player? <laughs> I should play as black. Yup. 76 on cap is so fucking scary. The red capital is there. Shit. Didn't even mean to do that. All right, we stole that from blue. Blue's not gonna like that. Yeah, blue has nothing. Maybe they can't afford to address it. So red is trying to hold all of this <laughs> off capital. <laughs> And as soon as they get removed from that pocket, they can't return. Hmm. Very, very interesting, this board. I love that I can see. So blue and white are compressed into this section. Red has all of this. They're, they're trading, yes. They're trading with, and he breaks me and he sees my capital now. I know how many troops you have up there, and I know you have no capital up there. So you break my Italy, sure. He leaves my Africa. Blue didn't break my Africa either. I think that Africa holds. I get a non I get an inoffensive card in Switzerland. Or I remove red from the pocket. Removing red from the pocket is better. Before they set and put a buttload more troops in there. We have cards? We do. Hmm. It's only the 20, though. I got to sit. I got to I gotta sit and generate and let, let my opponents hit each other more. This game might stalemate. Even though I'm getting a ton of generation. Purple card blocked? They don't want to break their neighbors.
Blue really let himself get bullied. I think Purple's super passive. There he is. Yeah, I figured we'd see that. Black and 18. Don't need to set. Turn line into the blue kill. He's guarding there. Somebody took this. Huh. We like 26. A lot. 26 is good. Yeah. So those are, <laughs> notably, those are Red's. Those are all of Red's troops up there. And he's guarding a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine generative. Twelve ish generative using 52, 60 ish troops. So he's pretty much put everything he's made up there over the last couple of turns up there. If you break me again, I'm I'm gonna fuck you right in the ass. <laughs> if you break me again, you motherfucker, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck you right in the ass. You didn't put enough troops on your capital, it's your problem. Sets too low. Hmm. I love the fact that this guy does not have enough troops on his capital. It's very, very special to me. White's doing a lot of hitting. Not really. All right, purple's going to break me because they're actually card blocked and they're too scared to hit. Black. Wonder if purple's actually killable. <sighs> what do we think purple has on his capital? Black takes the 20. Black can kill purple. Does he know? Might be able to kill blue as well. I wonder who the better fish is. If we're not seeing a kill from black. This would be the moment where you expect kills to be made. Eighty-eight. Shouldn't have broken me, sir. Most definitely should not have broken me. We can only afford to keep one cap after that kill. Hopefully this forces a red between black and red. Mm, no sound of four. I might die. I might die from that. Red's going to take everything and try to snowball, right? Or is he going to take a single card? Yeah, Red's going to take everything because he's a greedy prick. Okay, this is good. I'm going to take the capital. Guards the pocket. This man has no troops on his capital. White's still getting 11. White's kind of inconsequential to this game. He's just cap stacking. 
Hmm. I don't think Black tries to kill me. I think Black takes a look at Red's situation. Maybe we can team on Red together. There's White. Okay, Blue. Where the fuck is Blue? Yeah, White's just looking around. I lose my Italy because he's taking. He wants to see what's that way. Yep. Yep. That's okay. You don't get much further. No? You just break me for the sake of breaking me? Wow, what a douche move. And Black has to take my cap. Take a look, Black. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. There you go. Yes, well played. Well played. Hit him. Well played. Hit him. Well played. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Don't be a pussy. Hit this man. Hit him. Hit him. Ooh, oops. Yeah. That's not the move, Black. <laughs> we lose the three one. <laughs> Everyone's up my fucking ass now. So Let's talk a little bit about Europe, advanced progressive capital theory. The settings inherently stalemate if players are good enough to do so. I picked on one of the weaker players and I went from being a stronger player now to a weaker player. So there's a, a lot of risk associated with that kill. Um, as one of the stronger players, if you do not feel <laughs> like it is your job to progress the game, that's fine. But then you find yourself in a stalemate. So black here, not pushing into blue. I don't know where blue is, but look at this play style from red. Look at this play. Red's going to break everything I have too. He's still, he's going to stay antagonistic with me. Oh, now he's got a cap up there. All right. I mean, look, I can cap stack forever. And why wouldn't you just trade with me? You're getting so many troops a turn. Why wouldn't you just trade with me and let me hold a plus three? All right, I can cap stack forever. I can steal his bottom pocket. I don't think I want his bottom pocket anymore. It doesn't matter. We're past the point where holding all these bonuses is all that impactful. But looks like we still made. So it looks like we find ourselves in a game that do I go for the blue kill? Blue's been off bonus. I'd set kill blue set. Black's not doing it. Do I take a look? I want to. Red, red and black haven't actually impacted each other yet. Now I'm the buffer zone, which is not good. Okay, blue sets gets the 60. I don't know who he's hitting. Okay, there we go. There's blue. Blue moves quickly. Doesn't break me. Okay, I'm going to 25. I find red completely, completely insufferable. If you break me, you motherfucker. Yeah. That's fine. I'll trade with you there. I'll even, you know what? I'll even let you have that because I think you suck. He just put troops in his pocket instead of on his capital. Weird. There's troops in the, red is playing such an odd game. It's working right now, but I don't think red does very well this game. I think red dies. 
Because I don't know that he knows how to leverage from being in a, a massive early position to actually winning. I'm sad that Black didn't get that second capital. I wanted Black to hit that second and have it. Rather than Red have a cap up here, this is way worse for us. Red having an, only his cap here would have been way better for me in Black. Black having that capital would have been way better for me, I'm pretty sure. I like Black. Black seems like a really good player. Sets gets the 70. Who are you killing? Are you out? Are you out of gas trying to kill someone? Theo Dop, 45. I like you, Theo. Yeah, we're doing a little chipping. Let's show Red that 20. I'm just going to show it to you, Red. Let's take a look at my 20. I'm going to, if you fucking break me, you motherfucker. <laughs> See, if I was red, I'd be scared to hit this, right? I'd be scared to open my capital. So many fucking troops, though. This is one of those games where the newbiest player wins because they aren't addressed, isn't it? I almost had it. I think black needed to hit that capital. When I, was, and I was trying to emote. I was trying to tell him. Smack it, smack it, smack it. Putting fucking so many off-cap troops, dude. That doesn't know. Put troops on his capital. <laughs> it goes into blue no chips into blue chips into blue okay <sighs> me having russia and italy is fine you continue to exist in russia tr uh, doesn't trigger me to beat the shit out of red so red actually has at least a little bit of diplomacy in that regard White still has Orient, but isn't really doing anything beyond that. Blue's off bonus, right? Just set here. Do trade it. Don't think going to five is wise. Capital is open. Unfortunately, it's only open through black. And black opens my capital to red. We are running out of space here. Blue sets gets the 80. Okay. Is it Smackerino time? Three, four, five, six. Who's getting beat on? There's no cap here. It's going into white. You're here. Yeah. Then I can hook around like this. Steel red's a ridge, which I think I want to do. The question is how many troops are on it. Blue just beat the shit out of white. So maybe the move is to wait and get into the top three. Me, black, and red. Because me and black will effectively team on red. I have no doubt in my mind. I think waiting now actually is the the wiser play. Red sets on three just cause more troops are better than less. You fucking motherfucker! You motherfucker! He steals by Russia. Oh, Jesus Christ, Red. All right, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. An earlier version of Pete would go full attrition with, with this entire piece of his board. I feel like I just have to outlast the war between blue and white. Maybe I want the red capital at the bottom. 
Black's next to act. Does Black take set on red? I don't think so. I think Black plays properly and wins this game. So I have to do that too, right? White's hitting a lot of blue. Do we see blue die? I'll put white on four cards and then I kill white. Kill, kill blue here. If you can. I want to see blue die. I want to see white go to four. I want to kill white and set and then pump it into red's ass. Get the kill. Please get the kill. Maybe I get them both. Okay, he does get the kill. He sits on four at the end of turn. I get them both. No, black gets them both. Fuck. Ugh. Black gets them both. Damn it. Wait, black's going into red? Lol. This is fantastic. Black going into red is the best thing in the world. I love this. Unless he's going around. Going around, okay. We're in a three-player game. Black has strong advantage. Red has been antagonistic to me, but he's shitty. He's a very shitty player. There he is. Hit red. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Find out. Find out what's there. Hit him. Come on. Yes. Hit him. Fuck you, Red, for hitting my shit. All right, this positions me behind Black so that Red can only really hit Black. Doesn't mean he's gonna stop trying. Let me go back to me. Yeah, now I just let, I get to let these guys hit each other for a while, which is what I want. So Red's being insufferable to me for some random reason. I don't actually know what I did to piss him off, but Red's just going to feed Black the win. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe he pisses Black off at some point, too. Maybe Black goes for my kill here. Ooh, no 7-4 again. That's rough. All right, that I might lose here if they understand how weak I am. Man, Red is just hitting shit. What an asshole. <laughs> What a fucking asshole. He just hits everything he can possibly hit. 
All right, Black. Do you care about that at all? Do you want to try and stop this fucking prick? I know you know how to play, man. Maybe he doesn't have a set. Black is not trying to play. Hmm. Okay, good time to get into a Q&A question. Um, hey, Pete, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you, Open. I hope you are too. Somewhere in the philosophy archives, we were talking a little bit about being nice for the sake of being nice. And I think you said that being nice is exclusively for selfish reasons. So my question is along the lines of, do you count both intentional and unintentional selfishness? Unfortunately, Black, I cannot help you. You count both intentional or unintentional selfishness, like intuitively acting nice, unaware that it has a positive effect. And does selfishness include mere dopamine hits, like being nice to a tree or a fly or an NPC in a game when it has no practical benefits? Because don't hit that. That's that's not good. Yeah. Um, when it has no practical benefits, because I would count both as being nice for its own sake. Thanks and congrats on 100K. Thank you. So. Um, this is a great example of how to construct a high quality philosophical question. So oftentimes in philosophy, misunderstandings occur um, due to semantic reasons. And I think the, the way open poses the question is um, I thought you said this, if so, what does that mean? And and I like that approach. I think it's a wise approach. 100 troops on the back cap. There's a 142 there. Interesting. Down. Yeah, I think red's going to antagonize black enough. So is that the final cap? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, those are the six capitals. Um, red, and, red and black are both much larger than me, so I have to stalemate this game and outplay them. This is why it's a perfect time for a deeper philosophical question. So we're talking about selfishness, talking about niceness. We're talking about um, what does it mean to say being nice for its own sake? So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to define the word self because I think we need to um, understand what we're talking about. Selfish. A per of a person, action, or motive lacking consideration for others, concerned chief chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure. Okay, so according to the dictionary definition of selfishness, um, selfishness, I think, in the strict definition, does not connote negatively, right? Selfish just means self-motivated, self-regarding. Okay. Um, my sort of ethical viewpoint is that if selfishness acts as a market, um, Self act, self um, motivated actors in a market, if acting honestly, actually create a great marketplace for, um, you know, fair exchange, fair ethical exchange. Antagonize Reds more because he fucking sucks. Let's put ourselves into one villain as quickly as possible. guards with a 10 there if we both team on red he dies and i'm sure black understands that um i'm good enough to work with him maybe he doesn't maybe he wants to go into the end game with red because red sucks 
okay, so the way open sees um The the way open sees selfishness, he distinguishes the sorry, the way open sees niceness is he distinguishes um between an intentional and an unintentional form. Um so nice I'm imagining is defined by outcomes, right? An outcome is nice, a person is nice if they um show kindness to the other. Um, do you count both intentional or unintentional selfishness? Well, I think we do a lot of things kind of on autopilot. We do a lot of things unintentionally, but I said here as well. Put 30 troops up his ass or something. There. Now you just have an outpost. Let me have the bottom of the map. I'm at the bottom of the map, Red. I'm busy with black, right? <laughs> Big problems. We're both fucking hitting you. I'm at the bottom of the map. No? No one me at the bottom of the map? Okay. That's too slow to win. Um, does selfishness include mere dopamine hits? Like being nice to a tree of flyer and NPC that has no practical benefits. I would count both as being nice for its own sake. Well, the, the practical benefit, right? The way we are wired. Um, the practical benefit of of kindness and niceness uh, of being other regarding is, is still self-regarding, right? Like we live as a massive confluence of cooperation, right? No, no man is an island. So, so humanity existing in a... Oh man, Red's just beating the shit out of both of us. All right, Black is 120. Let's 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 cut this fucking guy down to size. What do you say? He just can't move fast enough. There's no reason for him to be out generating us. He's garbage. Let's kill him. Let's not be nice to him. <laughs> let's fuck him up. So, so in this situation, a three-player situation regards to the philosophical question, we can't actually be other regarding, right? We have to play to win, but also we're in a situation where it's, it's every player for themselves. I think it's the fortifier. I don't want to open the cap line. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, I wanted to hit red. Fuck. I don't know the black knows that red's back here. That's gets the 125. Use the 125 to break the block? Yes, that's good though. All right, now I see what we're doing. We're trying to card block red. Cool. That's good. We can do that. We can card block red. Unintentional selfishness. I don't know that that term means anything. Oh. 
Okay, he put it in here somewhere. Sardinia. Yeah, I don't know that unintentional selfishness means anything, right? I think the, I think we are we are wired to be self-regarding as animals, and then if you want to use the term selfish, you kind of want to apply some amount of intentionality to that. That's how I think about it. Okay, I'm going to show Black that I'm on the team. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set here. Go around him like this. I'm gonna punch into the noob pocket. I don't know how many troops Red has in the noob pocket, but this is gonna show loyalty to um to black and hopefully encourage him to stay on my side. He is stacking on a position that isn't open. Huh. Red is stacking against me on a position that isn't open, so I just don't open it. We will let black do the work. Yeah, we're in a we're in a bit of a long haul stitch here. Things right there. Things right there as well. Fine. I can go long haul. Okay, so we'll have a backup cap. Not the main. This is fine. Can't let me out of it. <laughs> just can't let me out of it. Fucking hilarious. All right. Well, I I let him take it. I let him take it. I let him card block himself. Hmm. Bit too early for the reverse. Six hundred and eight cap. Just blast through a one thirty. Yeah, it's a bit too soon for a reverse on this guy.
right, we've now looped. It's the same turn. Numbers are going up. It gives me a cap card. No, black breaks red there. Odd choice. Time for coffee. All right, the black cap has, no, the black cap has the same number of troops on it. Okay. Splitting off a lot. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. I want these guys to hit each other. Yeah, and then you put the hidden stack onto it. <laughs> so there's no longer any um, block there. So I can work on a card block on that front. Black takes the 145 here. Works to clean right out of the bottom. <laughs> He says, that's your problem now, Pete. Still gets 25 a turn. Don't worry about me at all, though.
Now you guys are horribly at war. I'll let that continue. Ooh, Black Set's on three. Is he trying to car block this guy? I don't think Black knows about the 142. If that becomes open to me, I can pop it. And I would, I think, at this point. Pop Red's 142 off my 506. That's going to set next up. Yes! Yes! Okay. We hit this guy hard. Uh, on that territory, I think. Let's see red reciprocate into black. Thirty troops on front. Black overextend. Everyone has two capitals now. <laughs> Black sick of this shit. <laughs> nice. Open my line, Black. Now I feel fine to go to five cards. Okay, red sets on three. Okay, that goes the other way. I don't know why he's so concerned about the bottom of the map. Still not connected to this 142 cap, otherwise I take it. What's the set? 170. Yeah, 217 gonna be safe for a long time, as long as it's not open to, to red. Ooh. You guys are definitely hitting each other now. Takes card and passes. Yeah, Black's happy I'm helping him. See? Right, let's kill this guy, man. I'm sick of this guy's shit, too. 
<laughs> I'm sick of this guy's shit too. Come on, let's kill this fucking guy. I'm with you, buddy. <laughs> He's annoying. <laughs> he should not be generating a lot of troops. Who's got three capitals? Red has three capitals. Black only has three of three. But does Red have enough troops on the bottom? Line? And black takes a 175 trade. So this capital is traded hands again. Yeah, black's rebuilding. Mental lot breaking red. That's fine. One twenty one. So I'm at eight sixty one. Might be in the lead already. Don't want to kill black. Though. I want to work with black. Oh, we're splitting off troops to guard bonuses. Puts it back on London. Puts it back on Capital. Is that set red? It does. Which way does it go? Up into the noob corner. Ha! He sues into Black's capital. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You bitch. <laughs> That was satisfying. This is a satisfying win for me. It's a very satisfying win for me. Lose all your troops. Yeah, smell you later. Explodes. Kills himself. You suck. <laughs> you knew you sucked. You sucked this whole game. You're up my ass the whole game. You made this take more than an hour. I could have fucking easily worked with Black. Multiple times. So, Red is a beginner. <laughs> Black might be a master. Might be a grandmaster. I don't know. Probably not a grandmaster.
Uh oh. We don't quite get the red kill, but I'm pretty sure Black has more troops. Hope I gave him second, but there you have it, folks. Yeah, Black was a grandmaster. GG, Theo. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this guy was so annoying. Oh, man, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed defeating three beginners, one intermediate, one grandmaster. Happy to see that you were not putting up with the bullshit either, sir. Um, if you are interested in getting better, the Game of Risk invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on the Kill Pete strategy, a daily release on Free Pete. I do live streams on Twitch. If you like the show, give me a like. If you want to come on the ride, subscribe, watch the show, love the show. I love you. I'm here to put out that energy. Thank you for watching and for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.